Hey everyone, it's Derek here with another video and today we're doing another installation video and you're probably wondering what this is. This is essentially a modification for the accelerator pedal and it's basically to place it better for heel and toe. So if you're not familiar with the Focus ST or Focus RS for that matter and I believe the Fiesta ST is very similar the spacing of the brake and the gas pedal are kind of different and the actual gas pedal is a bit further in than the actual brake pedal is so it's kind of difficult for people to heel toe. For me it's pretty much impossible so this is just a little modification to help me out and for those of you who are wondering this and the two screws and bolts that go on it are an extra 1.35 pounds what do you need? You need a 10 millimeter ratchet or 10 meter, 10 millimeter socket and possibly an extension and a ratchet. So looking down here at the accelerator or gas pedal, we see one, one screw right here and one screw up here. We will be removing those two screws. We also have to remove this right here, which is the actual actuator to tell the car that we want to go faster. So it's official. These two bolts are pretty freaking hard to get out. Um, if you have a very large extension, that would probably be best. If not, it's got tight squeeze and it's a pain in the ass. <laughs> Unless you can take the actual seat out, which would probably be a super big help. Okay, so I just got the accelerator pedal out and I hooked it up to the hardware that I had, which are a screw, a bolt, screw and a bolt. And this will essentially be placed into the factory spot where the old bolts were. And yeah, so this is the play that you can get with this. So basically it moves about, I don't know, like three inches out. So it's three inches further out. And in addition to that, you get to move it left and right. Probably a good also three inches. So you can see that movement there. So in these spots right here, those are where the factory bolts are supposed to go. And you need to actually put this in first without the actual accelerator pedal and install this first so that this is in so that you can place this on here. After that it's just the tweaking of the actual uh, placement of this and yeah you can move forward from there. To see a better explanation of this uh, go to CJ Pony Parts. Uh, this is actually where they sell this to. Uh, you can buy it for around 60 to 70 dollars. Um, what they don't tell you is in the final step or one of the final steps when you're actually installing this you should actually keep these bolts in the back here, um, the ones that you're going to mount the accelerator pedal to. Uh, the reason being is that this is pretty hard and far up against the actual firewall in there and you won't have much room to actually put this back on and screw these top bolts into the accelerator pedal. It's kind of difficult. Okay, so that's what that'll look like right there. Um, you still need to take out these bolts right here. One and two right up here. It's right behind the accelerator. Um, so you need to plug this in back into the pedal and then you can unbolt this and this and then put your pedal on there. And then you need to tighten, make sure you tighten these up so that this thing doesn't go anywhere. All right, so second to last step here, we need to tighten up this screw and I still have one more screw here to tighten up at the top here. Right, so if you can't tell, these two pedals are about even now, which was a huge difference because this was easily like three to four inches back here. And this is a lot better placement. So now you can play around if you want it further to the right or if you want it closer to the actual brake pedal. So like, I don't think you want it that close, but probably, that's like a good, good middle area. So yeah, 
installation's complete once you figure out where you want this placed. And like I said, this will help with the heel toe and you know, just easier to flip the throttle and rev match. It took me about 35 minutes to complete the installation. Pretty quick, pretty easy. You only need one ratchet, 10 millimeter, and uh, it's probably easier with a lot of different extensions. If you have bigger extensions, it's easier to reach underneath there. In the driver's seat, it's really not, it doesn't give you a lot of room to work with. So just keep that in mind when you're going through this. It's not as easy as you think. It's working in really small spaces. So keep that in mind. Like I said, I'll give you my thoughts and review of the actual modification in a couple weeks. And yeah, we'll see you in the next video. Thank you for watching.